What is up guys, Delboy here. A quick video discussing my top 3 favourite heavyweight prospects going into 2019. The first prospect I want to talk about is Ukrainian boxer Oleksandr Tezlenko. Oleksandr Tezlenko is 26 years old. As I said, he's from Ukraine, but he is based out in Canada. He has a 15 and 0 record with 12 knockouts. Now he's not a super big heavyweight like Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder, but he is 6 foot 4. To me that's big enough and there's a lot to like about Tezlenko. He's a very fluid guy for a start, you know. You can tell he had a very vast amateur background. You know, he had countless amateur fights and that really shows through in the pro fights he's had so far. Like I said, he's very fluid. He has a good judge of range, lovely jab. Uh, for a heavyweight, he has fairly quick hands. I like the right hand behind the jab, good timing. There's a lot to like about Oleksandr Tezlenko. Also, with 12 knockouts in 15 fights, you know, he does carry some type of power. He's an interesting prospect. He's a guy who not many people are talking about right now. There are a few prospects in the heavyweight division that get a lot of coverage, but nobody really talks about Oleksandr Tezlenko. And that is a shame because I do feel he is a really, really talented fighter. Um, but he does need a step up, in my opinion, in 2019. As I said, 15 and 0. The most notable names on his resume to date are journeyman, um, you know, the likes of Avery Gibson, Wang Good, Nick Guivas, you know, people like that. He's fought a low level of journeyman. In 2019, I would like to see Tezlenko take some step up fights and then we can really see what we have. But from what I've seen so far, he brings something different to the table. Really good boxer, really good timing. Um, you know, he, he's kind of similar to Vladimir Klitschko. He's like a smaller version of Vladimir Klitschko. And I'm talking about a pre-steward Vladimir Klitschko. But um, yeah, Oleksandr Tezlenko, really solid prospect. One to look out for. You should check him out. Number two, F.A. Ajagba. F.A. Ajagba is from Nigeria. He is 24 years old. And, you know, he has a lot of good physical attributes. He is six foot five with an apparent 88 inch reach, which is crazy. And to me, although this guy may not be as technically good as the other two guys on this video, but he's a really good raw talent. You know, F.A. Ajagba seems to carry real punching power. I really like his aggression. I like his style of fighting. He has got a good jab. He has got a good right hand behind it. I would like to see him vary his attacks more. I would like to see him set up his punches more. But as you go through the levels, you know, that will come. He will hone his craft. And there's a lot to work with there. I kind of see F.A. Ajagba as not a blank canvas. That's the wrong term. But if a good coach got hold of F.A. Ajagba, they have a lot to work with because like I said, he's long, he's powerful, he's athletically gifted, he's always in good shape, there's a lot to work with. He's very young as well for a heavyweight. I do like what I see from F.A. Ajagba and his skill set itself, he is raw but it's not terrible, you know. There's a lot of guys who are in the top 10, top 15 who have worse technique than F.A. Ajagba. So, a lot to work with there. That guy could be a scary, scary individual at heavyweight. I really like F.A. Ajagba and I'm looking forward to seeing how he is matched in 2019. I know he's only had eight fights, but I think it's time for a slight step up. You know, maybe more durable journeymen. Guys like Derek Rossi who can spoil, who can try to survive. You know, that's the type of fight... I would like to see F.A. Ajagba in with next, to be quite honest. But no rush, 24 years old, you know, really good prospect. A lot to like about F.A. Ajagba. And last, 
but certainly not least, Filip Pergovic out of Croatia, 26 years old, six foot six, standout amateur. You know, I felt this guy got robbed in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games against Tony Yoka. He won a bronze medal in that tournament. And he also won a gold medal in the European Championships back in 2015 in the amateurs. So Filip Hergovic was a standout amateur. And as a pro, to me, he has shown a lot of promise. He is only 7 and 0. Oh, but already he's been fighting the likes of Amir Mansour, Kevin Johnson. You know, for a 7 and 0 oh fighter, that's quite impressive. And for the most part, he's not really had any problems. He has a style reminiscent to Vitaly Klitschko. You know, he'll kind of lean back, hands low. Uh, he'll use angles. Um, he can he can move his feet. Has good punching power. Good timing. He's a really good judge of range. And I think as he gets more used to the pro style, he will settle down more. He'll punch harder. And I believe in 12 months' time, this man will be a real problem. I think he's a very, very good talent. Again, fluid, uh, fleet-footed, just a natural, natural fighter in every sense of the word. In fact, if you put Filip Hergovic in there with some top 10 heavyweights right now, I would pick him. I would certainly pick Hergovic right now to beat the likes of Dominic Brazil and Kubrat Pulev. I really would. I think he's a very, very good talent. And in 2019, I want to see this guy push on. He's had seven fights, like I said. And to me, there's no real reason to really match this guy slowly. And, you know, so far they've not done that. In 2019, I would like to see him fight some contenders, to be quite honest. I think he's ready. I think he has the beating of a lot of guys in the heavyweight division right now. So... Filip Hergovic, to me, is a very exciting fighter. I like his style, but for me, he is the best prospect at heavyweight right now. So that is my top three heavyweight prospects right now, going into 2019. I've got to say, though, I have missed out a few guys on this list. It doesn't mean I don't rate them. There's other prospects I rate highly. You know, guys like Vlad Sirenko, for example... There's a lot of good fighters out there, but, you know, I decided to do a top three. Um, and uh, these are the guys I came out with. So uh, share your thoughts below. Share your favourite prospects. And, uh, yeah, we'll have that discussion. Peace.